facility has opened in Abu Dhabi called a pre-clearance facility that allows uh, passengers to board a plane in Abu Dhabi and essentially touch down on US soil having cleared customs. Are you in discussions about getting such a facility in Dubai that will help Emirates? And do you see that, that, that becoming an issue for you in your expansion and for, for carriers in the U US uh, seeing, criticizing that facility? Well, take the this in reverse order. Yes, the American carriers do see it as, as a competitive advantage given to, in this case, Etihad in Abu Dhabi. Uh, I understand that there is a dialogue between the government of the US and Dubai with regard to establishing something that is similar to um, what's going on in Abu Dhabi, possibly even in Qatar. Uh, beyond that, I don't really know where it's got to. But don't forget, when you do set up a pre clearance facility, um, it is an extremely difficult uh, entity to manage given the nature of the multiple flights that we bring in that feed our US operations. For instance, yes, when we get to Boston, 39 cities served the, 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 the flights that took off yesterday. They had uh, citizens from each of those cities, many of whom would have had to have visas to get into the US. All of those would have been taken to, from multiple gates across our three concourses brought to a central location, effectively sanitized once they go through the US border and customs and held and then distributed back to the airplanes in a clinical sanitized manner. That gives us enormous issues with regard to below wing and above wing transference. So in some respects it's great because you ease the pain of the consumer, the passenger. On the other hand, the airline has to face a logistical nightmare to make it work. I'm not sure the benefits are that great, given the scale of what we are doing into the US at the moment. The trick really is for the US government to restore its uh, human resource and information technology resource to its entry points so that it can meet the requirements of the consumers who want to come into the US and have to go to the controls. Surely that's the way rather than move them out. I mean it may be slightly simplistic in my thinking but this is all the result of um, a shutdown, a close down of the resources that have gone into border control and customs protection in the US.